Hey everybody, it's time for the second real life superhero costume intro with a brand new um, costume with the same 2013 plus and before retro sweatsuit with zipper without sweat jacket with or without sweat jacket t-shirt with t-shirt white t-shirt with sayings, sayings and imagery on them and um, with or without with or without blue trunks over the gray pants like I said in these daytime intros those pant those trunks I didn't feel like wearing them so they won't be featured here and this is the same as the Douglas Blair Roberts YouTube social media personality based intros and the old videos from the from the from that from those years but the difference is like I said the difference between this and in those new in those newer intro in those newer intros for that page I'm wearing the the um, the new the regular size New Balance footwear with tape. This is my taped up high top Nike footwear from that time, from that time time period. I have everything from that time period except except for the act the act the actual two shirts, which like I said, I'm not sure if I have those two shirts um, anymore. So with that being said, this is the same thing only this time it will be the Sonic It Doesn't Matter and Jeff Hardy's theme. So with that being said, let me get started right right now.
Everybody, it's time for my lead out of date review of the 2022 video game based adaptation sequel Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Not only one of the best movies of that year, but one of the best movies of all time and one of the greatest video game live action films of all time. Mortal Kombat, the live action Mortal Kombat movies from the 90s which are still in my opinion the best when it comes to live action video game based movies. They have a rival in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 now. <coughs> like I, I did a short Sonic, I did a short Sonic the Hedgehog review in 2020 shortly after it was released. I saw it after it was released and I said to myself I just wanted the first one to be decent, okay, which it was. It was weak, but it was decent and okay, so they could make a much better sequel where they would bring all the characters in. They would bring all the char they would bring all the characters and storylines and lore associated with Sonic. This film not only lived up to my expectations, it exceeded my expectations. With Good Burger 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, S Sonic the Hedgehog 1, and especially 2, and now the Knuckles upcoming series. Yeah, it's the best. I'm going to review this movie by the window over there and give my thoughts on the upcoming Sonic 3 and the Knuckles television series, which are, which has already been released, but I haven't taken the time to watch yet. So yeah, let me start the video. And let me start the um, let me start the video and make my grand entrance on camera. just finished watching this film for the second time and when I finish my next um, series of movies the, the, the 2023 Ninja Turtles animated movie the Max Steel and the uh, Max Steel movie from 2016 and many more I'm going to do another review combining, combining the first Sonic movie with this one right here with this one um, with this one um, right right here because because for another reason I hold off on seeing this movie because I want to review them all together but I never felt like me watching the first one again so I decided well this second one looks super awesome so I decided just we just watch the second one do a short review here do a short oh yeah do a short single only webcam real life superhero review here and then later later do later review later review all of it together including probably the television series um the six episode television series too so um yeah and once again to see the part one narration introduction the link will be in the description box below but yeah son of the hedgehog 2 son of the hedgehog 2 what an awesome film this film is loosely based on son of the hedgehog 2 Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, my opinion, one of the greatest Sonic games of all time. Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Adventure Adventure 1 with elements from the Satin AM and Underground Underground Cartoon Underground Underground Cartoons and the X and the X anime with a little mix of uh, with a little mix of boom, Sonic Boom. <laughs> Sonic Boom to create, in my opinion, one of not only the best video game, video game and movies of all time, but one of the best Sonic adaptations of all time. That new Sonic Prime television series, which looks okay, and which is already in it, that doesn't really look all that um, good. This right here, this Paramount live action Sonic franchise is where it's at now. Yeah, yeah, this Paramount 
Sonic franchise is where it's at now. Um, yeah, um, yeah, have, yeah. These the, the 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 websites I go to to watch these um, videos, the video players are faulty, are um, faulty. So I'll correct that. Um, I'll um, I'll, I may pause and come over there. I may pause and come over there. But let me continue with the review. Let me continue with the review first. So um. So um. Sonic. So yeah, Sonic. Um. So yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um. Two. Yeah, the first one, like I said, in part one was weak. Was weak. This one was way better, and this is why I supported the first one. I wanted a film that was at least okay, okay, good enough to make a, a much better sequel, and as it was, and, and, and I was right, the sequel had more. This sequel brought in Sonic, uh, got more screen time for characters like Sonic and Tails, Tails who appeared in the post credit scene at the end. Knuckles made his debut here, and he stole the show as usual, and another favorite of mine, the super and hypersonic transformation finally made its finally made its debut you have well the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog that was that cartoon was way too goofy to have it you had sat in a year which should have had it but didn't have it even though they had an episode titled Super Sonic you had Underground which had a moment where Sonic absorbed the power of the Chaos Emerald and they didn't have it you have Boom which finally had it that was probably Besides, besides this movie right here, besides this movie right here, Boo is probably the best adaptation of Sonic outside of his video game and comic books. Comic books is the, so far is still the closest, but the Boom television, I mean, I mean, I mean the X television series and this right here, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, are um, are um, rivals to it, are um, candidates to are the closest in multimedia television and movie television and film form. Then you got um. Boom, well boom didn't last long enough to bring it into the franchise. So um yeah, it doesn't like Prime has it, doesn't like Prime has it either. So um yeah, but finally we got the we got the Sonic Boom. We got the Sonic Boom transformation and I like how in the part one we had a prototypical robotnik. Here we have Jim Carrey as full robotnik, as full robotnik. He lacks the iconic weight, but but he has but he has the um he has the bald head. He also has the goofy the the goofy um the goofy charismatic the goofy um charismatic comedic personality he had in Sonic Boom. So that was a plus. Sonic Boom's Robotnik is one of my all time favorite incarnations. And they have elements of that. They have element they have element they have elements of that um elements of that here. So um so um yeah, this film picks up where the previous one left off. After Sonic banished Robotnik to oh yeah, banished Robotnik to Mushroom Kingdom, Mushroom Kingdom, Robotnik finds a mysterious um some kind of mysterious shard piece <laughs> shard piece on the ground and coming through the portal is my boy Knuckles. Knuckles wondering where, questioning him where he got that. It is here where they form a partnership. They form a partnership to defeat, to defeat, to defeat Sonic and reclaim the Master Emerald. Who, of course, Knuckles Robotnik manipulates and lies to Knuckles, telling him that Sonic is evil and wants to claim the Master Emerald from himself. And it's Knuckles' job and duty to guard the Master um, Emerald. So, so Sonic does this. So 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 they do so they do. Meanwhile, Sonic is living with the Wakova I think that's their name. Wakovas's uh, family, James Martin's character's family, family, and he's become in, in in the city they stay in the city and setting they stay in. He's become a vigilante hero, but he's reckless. But he's um. But he's um. But he's reckless when when um. James Marsden's family go to their um <coughs> their friends, their big friend, their big female friend from the first film's wedding. Yeah, when they go to the wedding, they um what do they do at the wedding? 
Oh yes. When they go to the wedding, they um. Oh yeah. They um. Uh, oh yeah. They go when they go to the wedding. Sonic is left in charge with the golden retriever. I keep forgetting the golden retriever's name. And is here where the film quickly picks up. There's rarely a dull moment in the film except for the wedding stuff. And that was um. Yeah. No, Robotnik and Knuckles ambush Sonic in a huge fight breaks out between Sonic and um with Sonic and um Sonic and Knuckles. Knuckles overpowers Sonic and Tails, who was track who's been tracking Sonic since the post credit since the events of the first film. First film saves Sonic and reveals that Nut Tails because of his two tails. He wasn't popular where he was in his village. He wasn't popular in his village, but he saw how popular Sonic was despite his gifts, despite his gifts, and decided to track, this idolized and decided to track down and warn um, Sonic of, oh yeah, of Knuckles and Robotnik's plot, to which in this universe the Chaos Emerald is uh, supposedly a myth. It's supposedly a myth, but Knuckles. Of course, Tails says Knuckles believes Knuckles believes is real. So um yeah. So yeah, it's now a race against time. Sonic and Tails versus Knuckles and Robotnik to find and retrieve that Chaos um Emerald. Where Sonic later, he sees a vision of him. Of, I think Longclaw from his guardian from the previous film of his oh yeah of his mission of his actual mission that is to protect the chaos emerald from e weak evil hands like robotnik at all at all costs and it's a coming of also another coming of age story where sonic learns what it really means to truly be a hero especially when during the mission during the mission tails gets gets he gets hurt and injured on his watch this is also here where also here where knuckles starts to begin questioning robotnik's honor Robotnik's um um honor. So then yeah, at the wedding at the um at the wedding, you know at the wed at the wedding, um um Sonic and Tails use a giant ring to to, to escape to, to to escape and accidentally crash that wedding which which turns out the whole wedding was a gigantic sham from from um from a series of agents to set up to set up to capture Tom. Yeah, Tom is James Mars's character. Tom, Nu Tom, Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic. And um and um Sonic 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 meets up back up with Tom and the family here, but then decides to go um decides to go Take on Robotnik alone to take on Robotnik and Son and um, Knuckles alone after he accidentally got Tails. Tails, um, Tails killed. So he he engages in another battle with Knuckles. Another battle with um, another battle with Knuckles. Once they get to the Chaos Emerald, Robotnik turns. Robotnik turns on um, Knuckles and Sonic. Knuckles and Sonic and and oh and oh yeah and um. And um, knocks Knuckles into the water, and Knuckles can't swim. Sonic can't swim either, but goes in after. He breathes in a bubble, just like in the uh, video game. He brings it. He breathes in a bubble, just like in the video game. And he saves, and he saves Knuckles. But Knuckles appears to abandon him, but then grabs and saves, and save and saves him. And is here where they bond over similar backstories and decide to team up in the final battle in the final battle meanwhile tails comes and rescues them with his um plane from something um i think a cave-in something like that a cave-in something like that they take the final battle to robotnik who's used a giant master emerald to power himself to power himself like a super like a gigantic like 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 thanos a gigantic like thanos or doctor doom a super villain and to power his robot like a giant transformer like a giant transformer using energon something like that like in the transformers um he does this he does the, oh yeah he does this and this creates a giant unstoppable robot where the combined where even the combined forces of knuckles tails and sonic one of the actually the one of the best scenes in the one of the supreme best scenes in the film they can't even stop him they can't even stop they can't even um stop him meanwhile some, they take out the um they take out the um, Chaos Emerald, which reduces, it, which reduces and turns off some of the power, 
turns down some of the power to Robotnik's robot, and um, with help from Tom, with, with help from Tom's family, Tom's family, uh, Tom's family, Tom's uh, family and Tails, Sonic retrieves, retrieves the, the retrieves the chaos, retrieves the ca remaining chaos emeralds, and finally transforms into supersonic and overwhelms and quickly defeats Robotnik and Robotnik. Robotnik goes um, missing and Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic, Knuckles and Tails form a pack to keep the universe, to keep the universe um, safe from various threats. In a post credit scene, there is a, um, there is a, um, there is a hidden project that's been around the I think since the 50s called Project Shadow and it shows Shadow in a non-speaking cameo form setting up the next one. So yeah, what a phenomenal film this was. Glad I supported the first one. I supported the first one because I knew how awesome this one was. Let me turn it back on. Since I'm at the end of the review where I give my rating and talk about favorite scenes and stuff and other stuff I like, let me turn it back. Let me turn the film back. Let me turn let me switch players and turn the film back on. So um, yeah, like I said, part one. I mean, like I said earlier. So um, yeah, yeah. Glad I supported the first one because I knew I would get a much better sequel, with much better sequel, with much more lore from the video games and much more characters from the video games, including Knuckles, who stole the show as he always does in every version. So um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, recently got back into Spill. I recently got back into Spill.com and Double Toasted after after um, briefly unsubscribing to them due to clash in racial and political views and disagreements with several reviews such as The Amazing Spider-Man one and two, one, the Amazing Spider-Man one and two films, particularly Corey, and um, oh yeah, their reviews of Dragon Ball Evolution and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which I also didn't agree with. But I've come to understand that movies are movies, and when it comes to their racial and political stuff, only watch them for the reason I became fans of them in the first place, and that was the m movie and TV, the movie and TV game and multimedia reviews. Multimedia reviews. You never watch them on political political or yeah, political you never watch them on political or um race issues. Race issues again. Never watch it. Never view any of their channels for that. And never view any videos talking 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 about that. So um and when it comes to movies it's just opinions. I don't think yeah, I don't they, they I don't like a lot of the movies they like, and they're not, they don't like a lot of the movies that I happen to enjoy and like. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Yes. I would give this the highest. I would give this the highest full price and better than sex. Better than sex. Um, better than sex ever. The film was what you call it. The only, there was never a dull moment. The only dull moment was the wedding, was the um, wedding scenes, but that was, was the wedding, was the wedding and human scenes, but that was setting, and I like how in this one, yeah, they toned down the, um, humans. I enjoyed all of the Sonic Knuckles tales and Robotnik scenes, the best scenes, with the supreme best being the final battle, being the final battle and the supersonic transformation and what's his name? Followed by all of the Sonic Tales and Knuckles scenes, and then there was everything else. There was everything else, including the post-credit scene. So um, yeah. Now, yeah, story, action, story, action, war, everything. One of the best video game base movies in a in a long time. Mortal Kombat now has a rival. Now has a now has a rival in live action. There's several animated films that rival and even exceed Mortal Kombat 1995 and its sequel, Annihilation. This is the first live action one. And the animated film is 
much easier to make than a live action film. And speaking of live action, then we got the Knuckles television series, which follows the events of this, which features Knuckles taking on some character, I think named Wayne, under his um, wing and teaching him the ways of the Akendo, and is being pursued by a robotic. That's what, what the, something with the Wikipedia synopsis has said. Really, another reason I haven't watched the Knuckles series yet before, since I hadn't seen this one, besides not having seen this movie, besides before not having seen this movie, was another reason I didn't watch that series was because I heard they called it what was supposed to be a Kenny Goku Jack, where we're going to use Knuckles in a promotion, but it's not going to be about Knuckles. But that doesn't seem to be the case now. Well, I'll see for myself. I'll see for myself. And um, yeah, the Knuckles series, the Knuckles series, and then can't wait next year, December of next year. Or actually, I think it's December of this year. December of this year. Yeah, December of 2024. Yeah, December of this year. Sonic 2. Sonic 3 is this year. Yeah. I keep forgetting. I keep, why do I keep thinking this? That was going to be 2025. No, that's this year. It's 2024. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still stuck in, still even though it's 2024, still stuck in 2023, which was much better than 24. Oh, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, the sequel's this year. I can't wait. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something else to look forward to, man. Yeah. Yeah, with this, with Good Burger 2, Sonic 1, the Knuckles series, and this Paramount, and Loud House, Paramount and Nickelodeon is kicking butt and is taking their place as number one again. So, um, yeah, congratulations, Jeff Fowler. I think that's his name. Congratulations, man. Already one of my favorite directors now. You have made something awesome. Dude, I can tell this guy does his homework and plays the video games. So, yeah, thumbs way up. Full price, better than sex. One of the greatest films ever. Can't wait to rewatch this again and rewatch the television series to get more Sonic stuff towards you. So, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What an awesome film. Well, this was my review of um, Sonic the um, Hedgehog um, 2. Once again, to see the short part 1 narration, a link will be in the description box below. And I'll give you I'll give you a I'll give you a double, triple review of the first movie, this movie, and the television series later. And of course, the post-episode re review and reactions, which I debuted with the late 2010s, early, 20, early to mid-2020s Disney Channel television series. So, with that being said, you want to hear the rest of the music? And see the rest of my mannerisms? Turn the video off right now.